What's up, you guys? Zach here from Of Dust. Uh, I wanted to do just a short video um, in lieu of a song this week that just kind of gives a brief snapshot of kind of a good cookie cutter way to look at writing a song. Um, so this is going to be geared towards uh, you beginning songwriters. I call it the the cookie cutter for worship songs, and I actually. Um, started picking up on this. It was a pattern I was seeing when I was listening to uh, like Hillsong, for example. So when you are writing a song, typically you're going to start out with some sort of an intro, a hook. It's usually a melody line um, in much of the contemporary worship music nowadays. It's going to be kind of a, a catchy guitar riff or a piano riff, something like that, that's gonna grab your, your listener's attention. This is gonna give your listener their first glimpse of your melody it is something that mirrors in some way, shape, or form the melody of your verse or the melody of your chorus. The verse is pretty self-explanatory. Um, what I will say is a good rule of thumb is that if you are writing a verse that's really wordy, it's chewy, make your chorus simpler especially if you're trying to write something that you want to be somewhat congregationally friendly i don't think having a song where you're like blah, 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 for the verse and then blah, 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 for the chorus is going to go over super well the chorus this is the part that you want everyone to remember this is what you want to get stuck in their head it can even be something uh super repetitive what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus christ our lord um and it just repeats it doesn't have to be something fancy repeat it make it get stuck in their head the bridge is your chance to change things up it's not uncommon when you move into the bridge to drop down uh, lower the intensity of your song and give that space, allow a gap uh, so you can build back up and eventually launch back into your chorus. Swing back real fast to uh, right before the chorus. You can write a pre-chorus. It's cool. I personally love writing pre-choruses to my songs. The years that I've been listening to Hillsong, typically I've, I've heard a lot of, of their songs go intro, verse pre-chorus verse two pre-chorus chorus it's not a necessity it's a great little uh stepping stone to enter into your chorus this kind of gives you a good skeleton you beginning songwriters of what you can do um to begin fleshing out a song now as you're going through this i encourage you write out um this skeleton intro verse uh, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, and then go through each section and start to think about what you want the content to be. Don't let this become the only method that you use. Any of you who've watched our previous videos on overcoming writer's block know that it's so important to think outside the box, to cause yourself to think differently. If you've written what you feel like might be a good pre-chorus, try using it as a verse. If you have got what you feel like is a solid chorus, try using that as the verse. Just flip things around, think differently, but this is just a really good base model um, to set up your song. If you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, if you've got ideas on how you're writing music, any of you more experienced songwriters, please share that with us in the comments. Share your video links with us in the comments so we can go check that out. We're always looking to learn more from you guys, learning to become better songwriters, better musicians. We love you, we appreciate you, and join us next week for some more music. If you're in the greater Seattle area, we will be performing at the Freedom Fair at Ruston Way in Tacoma, July 4th from 1.30 to 3.30. It's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, there's going to be an air show, uh, so it's going to be a pretty exciting day, I think. Join us for that. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.